Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. We are here again for another Coffee with C. Where to find happiness now? If you want to know the secret to happiness in life, keep on watching. Why do we feel unhappy, unfulfilled, even if we have so much going on in our lives and even if we have more than enough? Where to find happiness? We have dreams and desires. And the thing is, if we don't have them yet, we feel miserable. And our misery dominates our life. The thing is, I want you to understand the difference between chasing your dreams and chasing happiness. When you chase your dreams, you are driven by a deep sense of purpose. Chasing your dreams should not make you unhappy or delay your joy. In fact, chasing your dreams gives you a sense of fulfillment because all throughout that journey, you understand that you have a purpose. So now, here's the difference. When you chase happiness, you are driven by your ego. The ego tells you, you need more. You don't have enough. It drives you to not be content. Your ego carries your pride, your fear, and your discontentment. Your ego wants you to constantly seek approval that you are valuable, you are worthy, you are powerful, and that you are someone else in this world. That's why we end up constantly seeking for achieving more. The pressure to be relevant in the society and the urgency to have something more to be respected and be valuable. When in fact, nothing and no one can give you value. Value is not acquired from external things or the events and circumstances that happen in your life. With or without your dreams, you are already valuable. You need to learn to understand yourself more. Whereby you understand the difference if you are driven by your purpose or you are just being driven by your ego. Because your ego will distract you from the reality that you are already valuable. This is the gift of being alive. You have so much to give in this world. The world needs you. The only thing that stands between you and fulfillment, it's not what you have or don't have. It's not who loves you or doesn't. It's not what you achieved and have not achieved. It is the belief that your life is not enough. If people can realize that all our dreams, achievements, wealth, fame are not the source of happiness, they are simply events that happen through pursuing our dreams and have nothing to do with being happy. Let me give you an example. Do you remember when you were young? You were a child. You were a kid. Everything was so simple. As long as you get to eat and play, you're happy. What is the difference between now and then? As we get old, we get to influence by the society that we need to be someone, that we need to fit in. It causes us to feel unworthy and invaluable. And then your ego kicks in that you need to be more. But the reality is happiness doesn't come from getting something that we don't have. But happiness comes from appreciating and recognizing what we do have. You know, I know people who cry miserable and depressed because they have less than $5 million in their bank accounts. While I also know people who barely make it in a month or so and struggle to find food for their family, yet they are so happy, fulfilled, and content. The way they see life is that as long as they have it, there's hope. They will make it. They make the most of what they have and they don't let the circumstance dictate the quality of their life. As long as they have a life, 
they know they are capable of living. They are alive, awake, and living the life. They are not waiting for their circumstances to change in order for them to be happy. Appreciating what you have is just the start. You have to closely look into the things and dig deeper around you and truly embrace this mindset. The last thing that you want to happen is that when we are old and gray, that's the only time you will realize that we actually don't need more to be happy. You can find happiness right where you are. Keep your requests, your topics, comment down below. I create videos every week for my Coffee with C community and your topic may be next. Until next time!